Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video is going to be about how I've had this grid tie inverter for over four months now. And you know what? It's actually paid for itself. The first thing I want to do is for all the people that don't have really any idea what a grid tie inverter is. What this thing is, uh, it is something that you have you have plugged into solar panels and what it does is it converts the energy from the solar panels into AC energy and that energy gets plugged into your house outlet and it actually pushes electricity from the solar panels, converts it to AC and pushes it into your house uh, to make electricity for your house. Pretty much supplementing uh, the grid that's already plugged in. Uh, but how I have mine set up, I have mine set up and it's wired to a circuit breaker and then it's wired pretty much directly to my batteries, which these are, these two cables are, they go to my bus bars and then they go to my 24 volt battery bank right here. Uh, that is usually not the way that they're set up, but to make a perfect analogy for it, this right here is the exact opposite of a battery charger. Now, a battery charger, all you do is you take the cord and you plug it into the wall down there, and then it turns on, and you take these clamps, and you put one on the negative and one on the positive, and it will charge your battery. Now, how that's working is it takes the electricity from your house, comes out through the plug, comes through the wire, it converts it from AC to DC electricity, and then it takes the DC electricity and charges your battery, okay? Now, with a grid tie inverter, you gotta think of it as the exact opposite. It's coming from these two wires, which are the DC wires. It's coming from the batteries, and it's coming, it's the DC electricity, and it's coming from the battery, and it's coming up to the grid tie inverter, and this inverter converts it from DC electricity back over to AC electricity. And then it takes the AC electricity and it brings it down, and how I have it wired is it brings it down to this, this power bar right here because I need to have this plugged in and I have this little fan plugged in. Uh, but it comes to this power bar, and then this power bar is right here and it goes across, across there, and as you can see, it plugs in to my wall outlet right here, thus pushing the electricity back into my house. So I hope that makes sense. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate exactly what happens um, when I turn on this plug. One of the safety features of this grid tie inverter is called islanding. And what that means is that if it does not sense any AC electricity coming from your house, it will not turn on and it will show a red air light right here. And that way it makes it so it's not pushing any electricity from my batteries through the grid tie inverter and possibly leaving my house and hurting a linesman that's uh, working on a down line or something like that. So right now, this thing does not sense any electricity coming from the grid, so it is not on. What you're looking at right now, this is my 24 volt off-grid system. Right now I have 66%, and I am discharging 465 watts right now because uh, my wife is upstairs uh, watching TV and we're charging a few items, uh, using the internet, stuff like that. Um, but what you'll see is as soon as I turn on the grid tie inverter, it's a 600 watt grid tie inverter. So what it's going to do is it's going to try to push 600 watts of electricity into, my, into the grid of my house. So right now we're using 416. So let's go ahead and turn on the grid tie inverter. All right, and I have this kilowatt meter right here uh, plugged into it so that way you can see exactly how many watts are going back into the back into my house so let's go ahead and turn it on
and we have it set on watts and right now it's it's just kind of ramping up a little bit and it should get up to about 600 but then it usually settles at around 500 there we go 300 400 500 and oh, almost 600 but 580 watts so right now it's pushing 570 watts but it's pushing that number back into my house and that those watts that electricity is coming from my off-grid system it's coming from my batteries now let's look at my off-grid setup as you can see I'm now using over a thousand watts of electricity and that is because 600 watts of that actually a little bit over that probably about 630 to 650 watts are being pulled from my batteries are being discharged from my batteries through that wire through the grid tie inverter and back into my house at a rate of 538 watts okay and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because we don't need it because the Sun isn't shining it's nighttime so let's turn it off and you can see my system drops back down to 400 watts so I hope that kind of clears up how my grid tie inverter actually works with my system and now I'm going to show you exactly how I got it to pay itself off in four months all right here is a comparison of my monthly bills uh, from last year to this year as you can see right here it's May 2021 comparing it to May 2022 and it's May June July and August now uh, this is how much I paid in 2021 for May um, my total charges were $145.86 uh, for May of 2022 it was $129.57 so that is a reduction of $16.29. That was the first full month that I used my grid tie inverter. Uh, June, uh, as you can see, my monthly charges were almost $250, $249.91. Uh, this year, I paid $213.44. So that's a reduction of $36.47. July, uh, my bill was $244.48 back in 2021. Uh, for this year in July, my bill was $219.61. So that's a reduction of $24.87. Now look at August. August, I paid $262.87 back in 2021. This year, I paid $217.24. That's a reduction of $45.87 and 63 cents now if you add up all those totals that actually equals a reduction of 123 dollars 26 cents from 2021 to 2022 uh, that right there i bought this grid tie inverter for about 90 dollars so it paid for itself plus 33 dollars uh, in four months now i guess you're probably thinking okay maybe this year was kind of a fluke you know maybe maybe i just paid a lot more in 2021 than 2022 well i thought about that too so i went back all the way to 2020. let's look at that data now here is every month since 2020 uh, and pretty much i broke this down to kilowatts total dollars per kilowatt i broke it down taxes and fees i broke down everything and what I came to is what I did is uh, I took 2022's amount and I subtracted the average of 2020 and 2021. And this is what I got. In January, um, I was actually over $14. February, I was over $12.50. In March, I was over uh, $4.26. Um, in April, I was only over a quarter. So that's pretty good. 
But look at May, June, July, and August. They're all in the green. They're all under. And that is when I use my grid tie inverter. $11, $11, $30, and $30. Now, if you add those all together, that equals $82.32. So not quite the $90 that I paid for my inverter, but still, that is some pretty great savings for a little $90 piece of equipment. And if anyone wants to uh, get more into this data, I will have a link to this spreadsheet on my website. It's www.off-grid-basement.com. Uh, and if you have any questions about it, please, please uh, let me know in the comments section below. I think that's really about it for this video. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you like it, please hit that like button. Uh, you know, if you do, like I said, if you have any questions about any of the data that I went through or how my uh, grid tie inverter is set up, uh, please let me know in the comments. And if you like this video and you want to see more of, of my content, uh, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps out. Thank you so much and have a great night. Bye-bye.